Sexual assault allegations against casino titan Steve Wynn shook the Vegas Strip Friday, and there was fallout today in Washington. Carter Evans has the latest. Reaction to the sex assault accusations against casino mogul Steve Wynn has been swift. Wynn Resort stock closed down more than 10% Friday, and this afternoon, the billionaire stepped down from his post as the finance chair for the Republican National Committee. It's a tremendous embarrassment for the Republican National Committee. Larry Sabato, uh, director of the University Wynn of Virginia Harvey Center for Politics, family. points out that Wynn said he took the prominent RNC job at the request of President Trump. If he's asked to weigh in privately, he ought to encourage the Republican National Committee to return every penny that win is given. On Friday, the Wall Street Journal detailed a pattern of lewd behavior that goes back decades, with Steve Wynn allegedly pressuring female employees to perform sex acts, including a manicurist who felt she had no choice but to have sex with Wynn after he made repeated demands. Her lawsuit was allegedly settled for seven and a half million dollars. He signed your paycheck. Charlotte Aerosmith was a cocktail waitress at the Golden Nugget and Mirage when Wynn owned those casinos. She and several other women eventually settled the 1997 sexual harassment lawsuit against Wynn. I would truly like to see him held accountable for something. In a statement, Wynn says, the idea that I ever assaulted any woman is preposterous. We find ourselves in a world where people can make allegations regardless of the truth, and a person is left with the choice of weathering insulting publicity or engaging in multi-year lawsuits. Wynn Resorts has a hotline where employees can file complaints anonymously, and the company says since its inception, not one complaint has been made to that hotline against Wynn. Incidentally, Rena, today is Steve Wynn's 76th birthday. Carter, thank you, Carter.